and we, we see in some of the comments some people don't understand how I do my videos organically that is I don't have notes besides maybe a page number that I want to jump to but I don't write points and notes um, I just do it as the as I see the data for you guys once I see a, a something to add to it and I do have somewhere where I'm going though in my brain so it's, it's this is something that I get obsessed with with something like this and I sits there and I dream about it think about it and I want to come to my current dreams if you will um, waking dreams the column failure since we don't get to look at this much in real real world and look at it and we see punch here and we have this this stripped off head so the deck sat on top of this these weren't up even these were not even with the top of the deck this was the deck was sitting on top of this so we get data here, we get to forever keep. Noticing that, look how it's evenly stripped on each side. Well, imagine if this was concrete here and this fell down. I was able to pull on it, pry on it. Before it broke free, it would pop the concrete. And so you're looking at the concrete as, it was, as the deck stripped down. It popped it. You're looking at the piece that held on um, right here, turned up in this direction. At the wall here, we see that, and I was informed through a source, that there is no, uh, a local source, that there is no reinforcement from this wall into this pad. There is no number 5 A3 bar, space 12 inch OC on center. So that would make the span from here to here, and what you're seeing is it's sitting on cars. What I um, lo am looking at here is a buckle also between the column. The, de the floor itself buckled. It, it had to push down. And right here is where we see a, a bend. Now, I'm trying to create this wave in my mind where I start from the building and work my way out from the, the failed structure, the main structure, and work my way out as the wave, as it punctures all the way down. And this section starts to go as, it, as it's being pulled down from this side, from this side down. And then from there, it's, it's bound at the wall a bit, even though it's pulling it down. Hmm. I don't, th this buckle, I'm still working on this in my mind, how this uh, would look. And I'm going to do a rendering as far as a piece of metal and, and try to show this deflection, how you would get this, uh, this to, to react. Well, let's look at this column. This one compared to this one. So I just said that this one held on a little bit longer. It sort of ripped the reinforcement held and, and ripped its way down to, before it released, the reaction, a sudden reaction, if you will. Whereas this one is almost like a quick shear, like a, a fast shear action took place. And I'm not sure what I'm looking at here, these two pieces of rebar that, there's, that appear to be two pieces of rebar sticking up. But this is like a quick shear that's just removed it real fastly, you know, no, no, um, um, interaction and then we look at the debris which I can only go in 500% I can't go in more than this it looks like more of it's displaced or removed whereas this is see how this is leaning up oh wait a minute we have this leaning up huh so this is what you you guys keep asking me about about the top layer this appears to be the top wear layer uh, no, sorry it's not a wear layer it's the top added layer with the with the, with the uh, uh, tile placed on top which they call pavers to me, it's more like a tile paver slash tile paver. Huh. Move over to your left a little bit. This is where I show the uh, there is no reinforcement in this part of the deck. Hold your hats. Look down here. Two-directional reinforcement. Two-directional at this point. This was in the ceiling. It got pulled down from this side as this came apart. But hold on, look what we can see here. As it was pulled down, the rebar that was on the side of it, uh, like a like, um, cheese grate, like um, a cheese slicer, where you put the cheese in and you push down, slice down the cheese, this wire on each side acts like a cheese grater on each side, and then on this side, and strips the head down. Right about there, to it, it finds equilibrium where... It no longer has any more force. Its its force is matched with the uh, with the resistance of the column, so it becomes frozen in time. And frozen in time, we see oh, 
So there's a cheese grater reaction up here, and then the, the kinetic energy burst off the lower part of it there. Hmm. So no cheese grater here. So this just sheared off. So these are not reacting at the same. A little bit of cheese grater action here, and then a little bit of side action going on there. So a little cheese grater, and then maybe this was all white, and that's a little bit of soft brush a deflection down the outside as the rebar was, uh, opens up and allows it to slide down. But not over here. The rebar is still in place, apparently. It looks like rebar, and it's able to freeze it, and the deck holds from here to the swimming pool. But we're looking at the underside of the swimming, swimming pool. There's rebar there. There's rebar here. So where we, where I stated there's no rebar, I'm seeing rebar. Um, there's none where it's, where the detail calls out in the middle of the joint. Um, there was a joint they were looking at over here. There is none in that construction joint. But there is rebar below that construction joint. It appears this deck is huge in depth. And variable depths. I mean, I mean, everywhere variable depths. I mean, look, this looks. This looks like, if you look at it, this looks like a pour. That looks like another pour, a slurry mix, and then another pour, and then this piece of this topping, and then the pavers. I mean, it looks like multiple layers of decking on top of this system. We have the drawings that show that they wanted to support this in many places before they started working on this deck. But more, more in my um, uh, data, putting this in my data bank for, for future reference, this is like the cheese grater action going on. But also, in this case, they're there. They're in place. So this was, the deck is definitely on the ground. So this is that action here. Number 37 is shown. Over here, the number is shown. We come here. Ah. Oh. The numbers on this side is shown, but on this side is just skim barely showing. So this is 32. This is, I'm sorry, that would be 37, 35. So this would be number 33. So this tells you how long even uh, the, uh, how long it cheese grated, slid down, rubbing and ripping off the numbers. This is telling us which direction during the collapse was rubbing which was not this looks more like so in other words this looks more like just a drop punk here because we see all the numbers and all the numbers here and i think there but on the other hand this one's indicating that the numbers are missing on this one side not on this side we now are starting to show a direction i'm starting to realize a direction now that i'm biased because of how i first gave you the data and came to this conclusive file so I'm biased on the numbers being rubbed off in this direction, showing that the forces were coming from the side we're looking in our view in our view here, pushing against the column, wave action going that way. You know how it how um, the wave action, the butterfly. So the butterfly had to come up up and down these columns, and and I state that that here is more so the wave action back to my and this was biased. I, I arrived at it just rank, you know as I let the data talk to me that this is rubbing more than here. This is more punctier. This is more rubbing because it rubs off the numbers. Almost completely rubs off the numbers. But that said, there's, there's other data we can find with other columns. If you can help me find these other columns and determine what numbers are rubbed off, we now have a direction based on number removal. Which, for how the force was. I'm excited about that, sharing it with you, and I'm going to terminate the video, and hopefully you'll get an eye hole moment, or you'll, or you'll write down below in the comments, hmm, I don't see it that way, and then I'll send you my PayPal link. Okay, uh, I'm I love that. I love bringing that back. appreciate that. Um, appreciate someone reminding me to do that. The, uh, oh, and again, anybody who sends money, I really appreciate that. It's really going to, I'm really going to do some rendering. You see that one guy that copied my, uh, my, the, the bell guy, I put a video on there to copy my collapse method. He's got over a million views. Now, he's monetized his channel, and so you can imagine that's that's some nice, healthy money for his, for his equipment. And that's why a lot of these people leave the bad content up. And even the, the trolls, they leave them up because that pushes YouTube's algorithm. They don't care about trolls. They, that's why some people troll comments 
and troll people to make them make comments. Me, I, I don't care for the trolls. You, I, I really don't care for them. Um, so this, again, this video is about the numbers are so significant telling you what's going on. This is a straight drop down. Boom. This is a rub. So straight drop, puncture, breakaway. Um, you can clearly see number 37. Down here, we can clearly see this drag, clearly see a drag down. Um, numbers are present here. So boom, break away, drop down. This one was a rub. So you can see the pattern now. So the uh, the uh, software computer program, you would you would enter showing the rubbing action taken here. These are punch. These will be more rubbing action, leaning towards that direction, that column. And that's how we get the removal of, of, uh, of uh, materials, the uh, painting and specifically lettering. Love you all, except for my haters. Bye.